Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to solve this given Olympiad question. 1 divided by x plus y equals to 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by y. In other words, we are going to solve for x and we are going to solve for y as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. We are going to manipulate the right hand side of this equation. So therefore, let's focus on this part. And here I have copied it down. Now let's go ahead and make the common denominator x times y. So therefore, I'm going to multiply this one top and bottom by y and this one by x on the top and x on the bottom as well. So therefore, this could be written as y divided by x times y plus x divided by x times y. And now we can see we have the same denominator. So therefore, this could be written as x plus y all over x times y. So therefore, I am going to replace this whole thing by this one. So therefore, this our equation, I can write the left hand side as same 1 divided by x plus y and the right hand side become x plus y divided by x times y. And now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore, x plus y times x plus y is going to give us x plus y whole square equal to 1 times xy is same as x times y. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. I'm going to apply it on the left hand side. So this is going to give us x square plus 2 times xy plus y square equals to x times y. Now let's go ahead and subtract x times y on both sides. This is gone. So our left hand side is simply is going to become x square plus uh, xy plus uh, y square equal to 0. And here at this step, uh, I am going to manipulate this equation by multiplying uh, across the board by 2. So therefore, this is going to become uh, 2x square plus uh, 2 times xy plus uh, 2 times y square equals to 2 times 0 is going to be 0 on the right hand side. And now we are going to manipulate this uh, 2x square and uh, 2y square. So therefore 2x square could be written as uh, x square plus uh, x square plus uh, I'm going to write this one same. So it's going to be a 2 times xy plus uh, 2y square. I'm going to write down y square plus uh, y square equals to 0. Now let me go ahead and rearrange then I'm going to put down x square, this 2xy and y square first. So therefore let me go ahead and write down x square plus 2 times xy plus y square and then I'm going to write down plus x square plus y square equal to 0. And now let's recall this uh, identity once again, a plus b whole square. We are going to apply it uh, on this part. So therefore, this could be written as x plus uh, y whole square and then plus finally x square plus uh, y square equal to 0. And now let's focus on this x plus y whole square, x square and uh, y square. And here I have copied them uh, down and we know that this x square is going to be always uh, greater than or equal to 0. Likewise, uh, y square is going to be greater than or equal to 0. And finally, plus x plus y whole square is going to be greater than or equal to 0 as well. But we know the right hand side is just 0. So therefore, this uh, x plus y whole square has got to be just uh, 0. This x square could be written as equal to 0. And finally, y square is equal to 0 as well. So let's go ahead and break them down. I'm going to write down this one first. So I can write uh, x square equal to 0. And likewise, this 
y square equal to zero and plus finally this x plus y whole power two equal to zero so therefore if x square equal to zero then uh, x is going to be zero for y square if it is zero then y has got to be zero as well so thus our solution turns out to be x equal to zero and y equal to zero let me go ahead and write down x equal to zero and y equal to zero and on this equation if x plus y square equal to zero then x plus y is going to be equal to zero now let's go back and look at this our equation our denominators are x y and x plus y and we know that these denominators x y and x plus y cannot be zero so therefore we conclude that x can't be equal to zero and likewise y cannot be equal to zero as well so thus our conclusion is no solution to this equation so thus we have a no solution to this problem thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye